Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. So, in the last episode, we got into Greed Cave. We actually did quite a bit of stuff, such as grinding a bunch of items and just kind of making progress towards the end of the game. Uh, I could finish it this episode, I'm not going to. We still have a good bit of stuff to do. Alright, so first things first, if we use a magic powder, two earth elements, and a devil blood, we'll get the terra element. If we use one devil blood, uh, one magic powder, and there it is, two fire elements, we make the flare element. We've already done this before, but I need them for something. Here in the decorations, if we use one quality cloth, one strong string, one red grass, and the pretty skin's right there, we'll make the fancy hat. And if we use that fancy hat with a pretty string, a bird wing, and some green grass, we will make the feathered cap. So this is a moment where I have to tell you how stupid Rune Factory 1 is. This feathered cap we just made is a level 20 crafting item that gives you 7 defense and 36% resistance to paralysis. The fancy hat we made was a 54 level item. We would have had been a lot better to make the item to make this item. This is game is not well balanced, I've mentioned this in the past, it re its requirements are all kind of, you know, funky and weird. The fact that all the items for the fancy hat were harder to get and it was a harder to make item and then you downgraded it to a feathered cap is bizarre to me. They give about the same defense, the fancy hat gives one more defense but no paralysis resistance which is I guess the logic there, but it's it doesn't make sense. It's weird. Hey Sharon, you're not mad I forgot your birthday, right? We win this war, peace will be restored to this town. Yeah. Bye! Okay, now Jean, special goods. We're going to need a pendant. And another pendant. And for a while now, I've been meaning to ship... Where is it? There we go. The Needle Spear. I don't plan on using it for anything, so, you know, get this out of my inventory. Over here at the crafting station, if we use a pendant and the flare element, we'll make the sun pendant. And if we use a pendant and the terra element, we will make the earth pendant. Decoration level increased. Where is my pencil? Oh, where is my pencil? Oh, where, 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 oh, have I never shipped the leather boots? I guess I'll take care of two more at once. So I realized a mistake on my part. I've apparently never bought leather boots before and sold them. They can only be purchased here. They're not a very good item, which is why I wouldn't have bought them in the past. But I'll actually need two pairs. One to ship and one for crafting. Feathered cap. Paralysis guard 36%, defense 7. A cap with a feather. Carries the protection of the wind. Magic Earring. Intelligence plus 5, Seal Guard plus 15%, no defense. The stone of this earring reacts to magic, increasing the wearer's magical abilities. Leather Boots. Leather Boots designed for the Traveler. Strong and built to last, defense plus 1. Earth Pendant. Vitality plus 6, defense plus 4. This pendant has an earth motif, increases resistance to earth. Which, it actually increases your defense against earth attacks, specifically, by 11. Sun Pendant. Strength plus 4. This pendant has a sun motif. Increases resistance to fire as long as defense plus 4. 13% resistance to fire, which is better than the Terra, so... I don't know. Weird. With these ingredients, we'll be making the heart drink once again. Farm seal increased. <laughs> Our pharmacy level is almost up to 79 now. Once we get up to level 80, we can make everything. It's just a low chance. And we'll just be eating these three because, you know, more max HP is always nice. 
back into Greed Cave. We have to fight these Orc Masters, I believe their name is. Oh. I didn't get the crit I needed, apparently. So we're actually hoping for some silk cloth from these guys. The highest form of cloth. Whether we get that or not is purely dependent on whether they're being nice. It is the uncommon drop. And we'll be needing either three or four of them? I'm not really sure. The website that I use for all my recipes says three. Quality cloth, which I still need at this point, so it's fine. Um, the website I use lists uh, two of them plus the item that uh, you need to ship. But for some reason I have a plus one next to it, so I'll be looking to why I have that marked down. It has been a while since I actually wrote these notes, so, you know, I should probably take better notes in the future. Oh, there's one silk cloth. So we got the one. Alright, let's head out. Hello. Well, the final battle's upon us, Rugen. I don't want you to die. I already read this before. <laughs> Here in the decorations, if we use a strong string, a quality cloth, a magic powder, and a quality skin, we will make the fireproof hood. And if we use a bird wing, a uh, silk cloth, a strong string, and a leather boot, we will make the feather boots. A match to that feather hood we had earlier. Or feather hat? Feathered hat, that's what it was. Alrighty. Feather boots. Wearing these light boots makes you feel like you're walking on air. Defense, plus five. Fireproof hood. This hood protects your head from fire. Defense, plus two. Fire defense plus 30. I'm actually kind of surprised the feather boots don't give you wind defense, but, you know, whatever. Here we go, two more shipped. Uh, I'm actually going to head into town real quick. Because as per usual, we have to talk to Tori. I guess we'll talk to her first. And read a book. Tori is still only at one love. Wow, Tori is a lot harder than anyone else. I didn't figure she would be difficult. I completely forgot about this entire mechanic. And I've been doing it for weeks, and I've only gotten one heart with her. And that's ridiculous. Hello. Will there be peace after this war? Hello. Your opponent is said to be really strong. Take care. Okay, so back to greed. So I don't directly need silk cloth, I, but I do need a bunch of glue, so I guess I'll focus on that for now. It amazes me that I have max level swordsmanship, and yet swinging this sword takes up so much energy. But really, actually now that I think about it, that isn't true. It, only, it takes about one per swing. It's just you have a max RP of 100 in this game, and that's not true for later titles. You can up your RP pretty easily in the other ones. I'm not sure about two, but I know in three onwards, I ended up with much higher RP. I'm pretty sure you can in two, though, as well. Oh. Gunpowder. Yay. Not what I wanted in the slightest. Come on, that thing, the sticky stuff. Cut that out, kid. <laughs> Don't say that in video. Not out of context. Give me the glue. Yeah, no. Alright, no glue. So the annoying thing about getting glue is that it's near the end of this dungeon. We only have like another screen or two until we actually hit the end of the dungeon. You have to go to the final cave a screen or two before the end of the game. And you get glue, which is necessary to make really early on crafting stuff. I've mentioned it before, and I'll say it again, and again, and again. This game is not well balanced. It is fun. It has interesting little things, and I like the music, and a lot of the designs, and I feel like if the characters had a bit more, like, better programming, I guess, it would be really a great game. This is a game I would definitely put up on the blog for needs a remake. It needs to be updated, needs to have better system, and maybe a bit dynamic, like, a bit more dynamic caves, things like that. Because as is, well, one of the ideas are neat, I just got glue. It leaves a lot to be desired. And we're out of here. Only getting one glue in the process. While I'm running through, I might as well kill the Stark Stalker. Death Stalker. Death Stalker, I think that's the name of it. This was a um, little dragon. Ooh. Fire crystal. 
Not sure if they have anything I care about. I haven't looked at their drop list in a while. No glue this entire time. That sucks. Alright, here at the decorations, we're gonna use one red grass, one glue, and two magic powder to make the evil charm. Decoration level increased. The mystery potion. And again, performance level increased. We are one level away from having a 10% chance of doing the highest level pharmacy item. We're pretty close. We'll be using one of each of the status ailment recovery items and a gunpowder to make the health it. And now I sleep. <laughs> okay, after a minor interruption last night, I'm back to this, so let's get going. And actually, before we continue on, I need to kill some of these guys, because I need their drop. I'm gonna need one spore from these guys, so let's hope they drop it soon. I actually need to check to be sure I'm doing the right thing. There we go. We got some spores. So I actually need those spores for one of the items I want to craft. I believe it was the one item I was missing for the recipe, so that's really good. Alright, let's continue on. We move on and on and on and on. You're in here, I can't just not talk to you. Hey, I'd love to see Grimoire's sword sometime. Hint, hint. Marriage item. Hint, hint. We just gotta get glue off these guys. So, the problem with glue is that we need it for a lot of things. Just about anything made of leather, you need glue for, as well as some of the upgrades for the leather items. The uh, leather boots is one of the only exceptions, and that's just because you can buy it from John, who presumably gets it from somebody who makes it from glue. Why they would put this, you know, really low-level item in the last day? Eh, who knows? Whatever. It doesn't matter. I, I, I complain about it every time I bring it up. You guys have heard it before. Oh. He actually poisoned me. There we go. Fix that. There we go. There's the glue. So, we need a grand total of five glue, and I believe we've only had two. We currently have one on us, and I believe we used one yesterday. We got a grand total of one, which means it's about time for some R&R. &R. Up here at the bathhouse. I'd like to take a bath. What? Who? Be careful, Raguna. I don't want you to die. Isn't that the exact same thing Miss says? I feel like that's a glitch. I feel like that's not correct and one of them saying the wrong line. And while I'm thinking about it, I should probably Tori it up. Well, the final battle's upon us, Raguna. I don't want you to die. Yeah, I guess they just have the same sentiment, but Mist's thing's actually longer? I don't know. Whatever. Dang it, gunpowder. It still has a use, so I can use it to up my pharmacy faster, but I have all that bullgrass, so I don't think I need to. More gunpowder. Fantastic. Finally some glue. I'd love it if I could get one more thing of glue. Dang it, I was really hopeful. Thank you. Alrighty, so... I need to recharge my energy. Once I do and I heal up, then we can actually start crafting some stuff. Gotta do this immediately because that noise will drive me insane. Here at the decoration section, we're gonna use one of our glue, one cheap cloth, and one cheap bandage to make the leather belt, and then another leather belt. Here at the decoration section, we're going to use one diamond, one pretty string, 
one leather belt, one glue, and one gold to make the champ belt. Alright, so in the previous episode, I was actually wrong. We still need more devil blood. One of the items that I was making, I didn't realize required it. I think, right, it was the uh, terra element and the uh, flare element. I didn't realize I still needed to make two more of those. I think I thought I'd already made the uh, sun and earth pendants. But since I hadn't, I need more of this. So we're gonna hope we're gonna get some of the next, like, just under three hours. There we go. There's one. If I can get... I really thought that was it. Dang. Now just more fire crystals trolling me. <sighs> yeah. Honestly, you really are, Damons. You're living up to your name. Eternally trolling me. I'll stop killing if you, uh, you know, just hand over a little bit more of your blood. Please? Do I say please? Is that how I get you work? No. I'm not sure what else needs devil blood. I know that there's at least one item. So, I'm going to move on to another item for now. It won't be something I'm doing tonight anyway. This right here. I need to get another strong stem from this guy. So if I can manage it, it's perfect. Oh. Got it. Plant stem. Kind of hoping I would get their angered fang from these, but, you know, it's kind of crapshoot. Okay, well, I made it home in time. And that might mean I can make this now. Over here at the pharmacy, we're going to use one black grass, one devil blood, one formula C, one skull, one poison powder, and one spore. Alright. Oh, no, I just failed. Okay, cool. I wasn't wrong. Yeah, it's weird being able to fail. Let's, uh... Where is it? Here we go. There we go. Formulade. Formulade is a weird, really good item that I'll go into in a bit. Um, probably next episode, actually, just looking at how long that this episode's gone on for. The way I'm going to handle it is this. I'm going to read it off as if I have shipped these items in the beginning of the next episode. When I leave the house, I'll then ship them. Just consider it done. So, let's do it. Formulade. Crop nutrient formula approved for human use. Slightly depletes your HP. This does not tell you at all what this does. This thing will deal 300 damage to you when you drink it. It is, you know, not medicine. It's nutrients. Very, very toxic nutrients. That raises all of your statuses by one. Permanently. It is really good. It's, you know, very pricey. But if you're looking to min-max, this thing is amazing. Chant Belt. Aptly named, wearing this belt makes you look more intimidating. Level 1, Strength plus 1, Vitality plus 2, Topple Guard plus 20%, Defense plus 8. Leather Belt. Power and Topple Guard plus 5% and 5 Defense. A regular belt, wearing this belt seems to help you focus. Evil Charm. A foreign magical charm. Some charms grant people all sorts of powers. Intelligence plus 8, Steel Guard plus 55%. The plant stem. It, you know, highly nutritious and used in medicine. You've seen the one use it has, so this will be shipped and then we'll be done with it. I believe that is everything. I'm just kind of glancing through. Yeah, it appears that that's everything I'll be shipping at the start of the next episode. Guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. We still have a few more items to get. I still need a few more glue. I'll be figuring out what I need before I even start the next episode, so I can just specifically go for that. But between the spore that we got and some of the, you know, devil blood and the glue and the plant stem, we're really making nice progress. I don't have much left to do. I really don't. Um, 
a few more episodes, guys, probably just after, you know, just into the next month so I can cover New Year's and everything. But very realistically, if I wanted to, I could probably finish this in a few days. See you guys next time and just know that we're almost done. We've almost finished. Bye.